Welcome back. So the last video um, we talked about these two functions and their rules. So here we're going to be setting up our form for payment. So in our um, index.blade.php that we have inside our resources. So we have our resources here. So we have our index.php. We are going to be making use of uh, this page. So we call this uh, our payment. Let's say make payment here. Make payment here. Let's say that's our page. So now let's go back to our tutorial in the GitHub. So we have our tutorial here. We are told to make use of this form. The sample form is will look like this so let's just copy our form and make uh, use of the form so this is our payment form and this is how it's used i'm going to explain the de details of this uh, form so um, once you copy the form and you paste it so you're going to see how the form look so look at the form we have uh, the um email of the pay the payee the person that is making payment the order ID which should be generated by your application so the amount that the person is paying so if because it's required in Cobo if you pay this this is going to be 8 Naira so you have to add uh, two more zeros to make it uh, 800 Naira so if you want to capture 800 Naira if you want to capture 8000 Naira then you have to add extra two zeros to it then the quantity that is the quantity that the person is paying is paying just for one quantity so we are paying in nine in n9 ngn that is naira and also we have our uh, json uh, code pinning you know this is very very useful especially when you have more, more information to pass to the server and you want to get the response at the other end so you can check use this uh, maybe the key name the value you can extend it and add more maybe you have another key name and value so you can add as many as you want here maybe you have uh, maybe you have the items name maybe item name uh, i want to add item name maybe i'm selling uh, maggi for example maybe the person is paying for maggi uh if the person is paying for my g on my application so if the person is paying for and i'm sending this item name so item name is going to be part of what will be sent to the database you can add as many as a listlet uh for the you can add you can extend it this is a key name this is a value this is a key name this is a value so use this key name to assess the value so item name my g that the person is paying for so you don't change the generated reference number by the pay stack it's going to be uh, generated then the token this for security reason we leave it there so the pay now button is there so other ones are easily uh, they are, they are explainable this one can be your order id you can change it so the other id is attached to this uh, payment is attached to this payment so there are other transactions like the transaction reference keeps changing so if you try to pay and there's an error on your payment this transaction reference is going to change it's going to throw an error so let's see let's see how uh, our payment goes so if we want to pay now let's try and see how our payment goes so i'm going to go back to our index page uh, so we have an error in our token so let's let's go back to where the error is where the error is where the error is okay so we didn't actually specify we didn't do the right thing so the key and then we didn't reference our key properly so that's why we are getting uh, that but it's not properly styled you can see that it's very small so you can see that most of the uh, fits are hidden yeah we have hidden fits they are not actually shown to the user all we are seeing here is the submit pay and probably the uh, uh, the name 
that want to be the person wants to be so amount of money so that's what we are seeing so we can center line our uh, uh, work and just assume that we are going to make it better from our home so let's just do a bit of styling let's call it a class uh, let's give it a container let's give it a container so i'm going to wrap it with another container at the base sorry i'll be to a uh, close for bg so let's see how it's going to be uh it's much different so i intend to write container here so still container so we have Container, container. Okay, let's uh, see how we can add our uh, get a bootstrap libraries and add home oh, get bootstrap and see we can just add a minimum bootstrap to our work. So we have a uh, bootstrap. So let's get this and paste on top of our application so that we can get. A bit of style so we have this uh, has been added good at least we were able to see one or two things we are we're able to see this we can make it a card uh, maybe a card card so this is going to be card body so I will wrap it in another bit I just want it to be a bit more conspicuous than what we have here so we have um, our pay now so we assume that the person is paying uh, 2950 now for us to pay 2950 it shows that our value that we are going to pass here is going to be 2950000 so that will give us 2050 now let's see if while we are trying to reset and we are about to make payments and now pay now should go directly to our pay stack can you see it's already bringing up pay stack now because i set my pay stack dashboard to i set my pay stack dashboard to test that's why i'm seeing that so i'm seeing test so because i set it to test and because i'm using the test key that's why i'm saying that now if i set it to test so test would ensure that what i'm seeing is is the test so I, i'm about to make my payment uh, on this platform I'm about to make my payment so we once I conclude the payment here you can see that the person is paying is actually paying 29,500 that means we have overshoot the value so it's, it should be 2,000 so let's cancel the application let's see what happens if I try to refresh okay we were able to refresh so let's go back and we just go back and we know if we are paying again good now we are paying again with 2950 so take note of the values that we have that we are added so we have um, 2950 now that's the amount the person is going to pay so we have to add 002 so when once you do the payment once when it's complete and you have said to the system okay pay the system comes back now take note of this the system comes back to its success story now i showed you something the other time in our payment that this is going to display to us what the person has paid the information so this line this is where the our program reach it has hit this 
and that's weekly and it's coming back with a response so we are getting a response on our uh, site so on our page it's showing us the id of our transaction the status that is a success status and is a test the test transaction then we have the reference id amount that was paid this is the amount that was sent to the server do you remember so all this information are very very essential so we also have the metadata so i showed you the other time we can send some value to the um to the server look at it item name is maggie do you remember so all these things can be captured and be saved in our database so we can get the time we can get even the ip of the uh ip of the person that make the transaction you can get the bank name you can get the country test bank expiry date of the um, a card although you can't get the whole information of the card for security reason but all these things will help you to trace so if the person has uh, supplies like the customer has the first name the last name the id this also can be gotten then the the person that pays look at it. this email was the email supplied me on our page the email that is the email here so you can see that it's so much easy for us to get then the requested amounts from the from the from the table so this is how payment information is uh, being gotten so uh, in our next episode we're going to be seeing how we can capture all these values and log them into database to confirm if the transaction is actually um, to see the status of transaction for example if you look at this transaction sources it shows that it's completed transaction can go and it will fail so you must be able to set up your transaction and see how it's going to be so in our next um tutorial we're going to be seeing how we're going to uh, the um our information will be logged to database we're going to log up some of the information we're going to capture some of them and log them into the database so le once again let's go over what we have learned so I'm going to refresh this and make the payment again so and the payment when once you click it's coming from this page it's going through the url from this path we direct to gateway which is coming to this our payment gateway so from this payment gateway it goes to the payment gateway and when it's coming back it's looking for this our pay payment callback it will hit this our handy gateway callback then this information we can use it to determine if the person has made the transaction and that one thank you for listening